I was diagnosed two years after my parents got divorced, and my cancer was the first major obstacle in their de facto plan to never see each other again. They didn't have a very amicable split. My dad remarried soon after, and my mom was devastated. But I'm their son, and I think they both understood that they would have to work together on this one. But that's easier said than done. It was tense at first, so we decided to split up all the pre-chemo appointments. My mom took me to my pulmonary exam. My dad took me to bank sperm. My mom took me to my bone marrow biopsy. My dad took me to get some tacos. But the first chemo? The first chemo was something that both parents wanted to be a part of. So the first time that the three of us were all in a room together for any length of time was the first time I sat in a chemotherapy chair. I think I got you. I think I'm gonna win. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Add it up. <laughs> hey, you two. Hey. Who's winning? What are you doing? What is this? Oh, I'm just cleaning out the port with a little saline. Oh, that feels insane. Oh, you gotta forgive me. I have never experienced anything like that before. You're doing just fine. Okay, all right, we're just waiting for the blood work to come back. Um, after that, the chemo's a slow drip. Maybe five, six hours, I know. All right, I'll be back in a couple minutes. Thank you. Six hours. Oh, I'm glad your father's not here. Well, be nice. What do you got? You gotta show me your tiles. <sighs> Read them and we... No! <laughs> no way! That is lucky. That is too good. That is too good. Oh, whoa, what a game. Look at how complex that board is. Huh? Mom got me by two points. Two points! Oh, well, never underestimate a school teacher. Congratulations, Laurie. Thanks. Hey, I brought us some treats. Walk from Farmer's Market, and these are great. Rosemary crackers. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. So, what's up? You looking good, buddy. Thanks. Loris, nice to see you. How are you? Fine. And how's uh, Ben? You told him? I didn't. Well, I, you know, he mentioned that you were seeing someone. I'm really not comfortable discussing my personal life with you. I think it's great. It's really none of your business. Well, no, I mean, I'm, I'm only saying that if you're, you know, if you're seeing somebody else, I, th I think that's very healthy. That's, you know? Hey. All right, we got your blood work back. You ready to get this started? That's chemotherapy? This is the juice. I thought I was gonna roll up in some scary black suitcase or something. That looks fruity. Looks kinda gentle. Oh no, this is not gentle. It's this color so that you know what you're grabbing. Don't want any more practice, right? Oh, is that Farmer's Market guac? Oh, please, please. Love Farmer's Market guac. Yeah. You must be Nick's dad? Yeah. You bet yourself a good man here. Oh, he's not my man. We, oh, we were actually married for 29 years, and now I'm married to someone else, and she's seeing someone else. I'm John, oh. by the way. Hi, I'm Mary. Christ. What? You, you know, Johnny, you, you walk in here two hours late wearing a blazer. You bring gourmet guacamole with rosemary crackers. I mean, people eat guacamole with chips. You know, and then you're... just pathetic. What? You. I'm sorry. I'm... You, you know, you, you, you know, you come in here, you're just fine. It's like, everything's just fine. Well, I think we could be civil to each other. I do other. not enjoy seeing you, okay? Do you understand that? You hurt me. You broke my heart. The only reason I'm even looking you in the face is because my son has cancer. My son has cancer, too. So do I. Oh, I, you're talking about me. I'm the one with cancer. <laughs> Maybe we should uh, get the chemotherapy started because I feel like we all need a distraction. It's flowing. I'm getting chemo right now? Oh yeah, the juice is flowing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was late. I'm sorry I didn't bring chips. I'm sorry, I, look, I think you're doing a great job with Nick. I couldn't do what you do. I think you're a great mom. I'm sorry, too. See, cancer brings people together. And Lori, I'm divorced, and when my man left me, he took my Toyota Tercel and my vacation money. 
<laughs> so at least he's trying. Okay, I'll be back in a couple hours. Mm, not there yet. That nurse was right. Cancer does bring people together like that. And even though they had their issues, my parents were incredible during treatment. My dad was so thoughtful and kind. My mom was an absolute angel. I couldn't have done it without him. So this episode is dedicated to you, my mom and my dad. Highly Evolved Human is made possible by our friends at Squarespace. You can watch more episodes of Highly Evolved Human by clicking here, and make sure to check out our website, which they helped us build here. They're willing to help you by offering a discount and a free trial if you put squarespace.com backslash H-E-H. Thank you for watching Highly Evolved Human. Make sure to subscribe. So pancake, subscribe. <laughs>